When do you decide to do a parathyroidectomy under local regional anesthesia versus using a breathing tube? I'm Dr. Bob Aclarion from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. The first criteria is that on imaging studies, you clearly have to see an enlarged parathyroid. So let's say you see a clearly enlarged parathyroid on ultrasound or a 4D CT scan right there. You know exactly where it is. You know how far away from the skin it is, what its relation it is to arteries, and the thyroid gland, right? You have the anatomy, you clear. Next, the person's neck has to be thin enough where you can insert the injection needle, right? And anesthetize the nerves that come out of the spine and come to the neck. Let me draw these nerves in red, right? And so you insert the needle in close proximity to where they are, and you inject numbing medicine in these multiple spots, and you numb up the nerves that are in charge of feeling to this half of the neck where the thyroid is and the parathyroids are, okay? And lastly, they can't have any sleep issues. By that I mean they can't have any sleep apnea where when they lie down and fall asleep, their tongue falls back, and when the tongue falls back, it gets in the way of breathing, so they have to struggle and then they move a lot during that. So the three criteria is knowing where the tumor is, the abnormal parathyroid, having a thin enough neck where an injection for, to numb up the nerve roots coming into the area of the thyroid and parathyroid can be easily accessed and numbed up. And lastly, they can, the person cannot have any sleep apnea or breathing issues. All right, and when great majority of my patients fall into this category and are able to have the surgery under local anesthesia, which is fantastic because their recovery is significantly easier for them. All right, and I love doing the surgery this way and helping the patients this way. So if you're clear, interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.